he was always difficult. Well, this is a great honor, and this is doubly an honor to be given it by a great European actress. I will try not to take it too seriously. The truth is, I'm everything you don't approve of. I'm not an auteur. I don't write my scripts. I make cheerful films because I can't bear the misery anymore. In fact, I'm just a bloke who makes films and I hope the audience likes them and they have liked some of them and they haven't liked others and that's very, very depressing. And worst of all, when I was a child, I'd never heard of European cinema, but then I'm English, so everything is understood. I saw films were American, Pinocchio, Charlie Chaplin, Laurel and Hardy, or else they were British, generally starring Richard Attenborough and John Mills. And then one day, I saw uh, Le Jour de Fête by Jacques Tati, and then came Brigitte Bardot, I can't think why. And then the great doors opened and the great Italian films came and the French films came and Bergman's films came and the Czech films came and I was seduced by European cinema. In the meantime, the cinema in my country had been changed and the truth is I owe all of this to two men who were involved in changing the cinema in Britain, to Lindsay Anderson and to Carol Rice. I never wanted to be a film director. I didn't know the job existed. I only became a film director because I was so dazzled by their intelligence, their humanity. They were such wonderful men. And so I became a film director and that's where it all went wrong. I would really like to be like the Flemish. Flemish? Were you, are you the Fipresco ones? I'd like to be like you newcomers again, but Apparently I can't be. Danish, they were Danish. You're all bloody Danish. <laughs> Have you got money in Denmark? I come from a bankrupt country, give us it. <laughs> so thank you very much indeed. I'll try and do better next time. <laughs>